Well, all right, let's get started. I'm gonna do so I already washed my hair. I like to experiment with different shampoos and conditioners. I tried Dr. Miracle's um, tingling shampoo and conditioner. I mean, it was good. Um, it was tingled all right. Um, <laughs> now I will dry it a little. It's still wet, so it's shorter. When it dries, a lot higher, but hey, it's wet. It's, it's damp. I dried it a little bit. Um, I don't like to put a lot of heat in my hair. I'm going to start this hair that I have and this technique that I tried. It was still good. Like, I could have left it in, but I'm going out of town, so I want a fresh look. So, yeah. I'm going to part the hair like that. Just, I'm going to start right here. And I'm just going to make this a little section of its own because I've noticed when I, um, you know, it'll start to pull and your edges will start to thin out when you have a lot of tension so instead of having this connect to a long braid right here I just make this a simple little side braid and I don't braid it tight at all I don't recommend anyone braiding the hair tight do not braid your hair tight because when you put on the net or when you sew it in um, you are going to tighten your hair with the um, track in with the string and the string will make it so tight if your braid is already tight that it'll pull your hair up so yeah we are not the same type. Not at all. I don't braid tight, actually. Well, myself, anyways. And I'm gonna, um, braid all the way back. I mean, it don't have to be perfect. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> but you do want a nice pattern going. Um, I'm just going to show you my braid pattern and then I'll finish up my hair. Alright, now on this side I'm going to do the exact same thing. And then in the front, ooh, in the front I'm going to come across and um, I'm going to come across this a little. I'm not going to make it go entirely across my forehead but it will reach about halfway. And you can take as much hair as you want. On my ends, I take um, not that much, but in the middle, I'll take a lot more and braid it in. Um, kind of weird to look in a webcam and do this. <laughs> it just is. Alright, now um, I'm going to say this so that I can cut this section short. Um, I'm going to braid up my hair and then I'm going to put a weaving cap on it. Alright, this is the weaving cap. People keep asking me, I'm surprised I don't see them. She looks a mess. But <laughs> this is the cap. It was $1.99. I swear to God, I got this at the dollar store. You can get them at um, any hair shop. Don't ask me where I got mine from because I got mine from like the little corner store hair shop. So like honestly you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Just assume that in your living area there is a corner hair shop with a Korean person more than likely. I'm just saying. Come on now. We all know what I'm talking about. Anyways, this one actually wraps around the whole head like a little wave cap or whatever. Which is pretty convenient. So I'm going to braid the hair and put that on. So I put this, I braided my hair, um, the edges, it's like straight back and I just made basic little braids um, all over and since I have this net, I just basically tucked all the ends of the braids beneath the net and then I sewed the little top down because that would make it sticking up and I was on the movie set it off, can't you tell? <laughs> And I moved this back. It, it was right here. I just moved it back because, I mean, it would be pointless. I'm not trying to sew this onto my forehead. So it's there. Now this weave, um, it's the one I had in for a while, actually. You know, I know I don't keep weaves in very long because I just like to change them. But I love this stuff. It is really good. I was very surprised. I was, like, very skeptical. And this is 1999, so therefore I was really skeptical. Um, it's called Silhouette. Um, it's human hair alright I agree with that and I liked it because even like 
I put in the spiral rods with this hair, like that video with this hair, and um, and that was a while ago. And then I did a whole bunch of other things with this hair, and all I did was like wash it, and you can wash it like regular hair and maintain it, and it lasted a lot longer. Like Milky Way, it kind of after you wash Milky Way hair. I don't know if I'm the only one that's had that experience, but it's not necessarily cool. So, this is 10 inch. It's not very long. I didn't want long. I'm gonna, I don't know, because I might cut this later on, so a little short style. Um, 10 inches of hair, and this is black. I always choose black. I like that black on me, because it looks good on my skin. All right, now. Alright, I'm combing it through with my fingers. Now, you know, you always got to decide what side of the weft you're going to use. Um, the side with the double layered look, like there's a layer on the top and bottom, you want that as opposed to the side. Because when it lays down flat, little hairs will spring up. And that's not cool. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. And you'll see it when you get a weave. Now, I will put the tracks right here starting in the temple just because I want to make sure that's covered and um, my new technique I I'll show you um, it's really for the front the back is basically the same because you just want to make sure that the bottom is covered I'm gonna I measure it from temple to temple and then I just cut that much off and sew it on I'm trying to not have to do a million videos like I did the other time so, um, now that I have editing software, yay, um, <laughs> try to cut it short. You have to know, I'm assuming you know the basics of sewing in a weave, such as putting the needle through the track, um, hope you can see that. It simply goes, you can put it through the top of the track, that's what I do, um, the top section, put it through, and at the basically I'm estimating the front of the braid but the convenience of a net is that you don't have to braid on the braid I mean sew on the braid like say you wanted you could um, sew right here as opposed to if you if you didn't have a net you would have to sew strictly on the braid with a net you can sew wherever you want that's one convenience of it as well as when you um take out your sewing you can just cut, you can just pull the track up and you'll see like the separation of net. You can just pull it like that and you'll see the string you just cut through that. I think I have a video on how to take out a weave. So here we go. Um, I'm going to put it through the bottom, the thick part, just because I don't want that part to slide down ever. And I'm going to type to reinforce it. I cross over braids at times. I mean, only person that knows that it's crossed over is me. And I don't mind doing it. Okay. Right. I'm sorry, I can't look at the webcam because it's confusing me. <laughs> there we go. And you gotta make sure your hair doesn't get tangled like mine just did looking at this webcam. Alright, and just pull and place it out just so you can get a good feel for where it's gonna be. I did this just because um, I know my hair isn't that thick, so I want to make sure it stays in there. That is a good technique, go through double braids. Oh man, can y'all see like this? Like y'all can really respond. <laughs> Hope y'all can see that. now um to cut this short i'm going to do this exact thing same thing repetitively Ooh. over through this entire track you may always make sure to that your track is straight i'm going to sew this all the way around cover the bottom and bring it out to the temple all righty